Assalamu alaikum, hi everybody, welcome to a new video, thank you for watching and listening In this video we're gonna talk about uh, the game of Morocco versus Malawi, we're gonna look forward to it It will start about 2-3 hours from now And uh, also we're gonna talk about the probably transfer of Sufyan Amrabat to Tottenham Hotspur Before we start with that, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel To give this video a like and to share this video uh, Let's first start with the big game of uh, today uh, finally a chance to uh, win a knockout round game uh, at the Africa Cup since 2004 it didn't uh, happen uh, for us so uh, yeah of course uh, we are uh, the big favorite for this uh, game but uh, we know uh, what happened uh, in 2019 against uh, Benin so uh, let's hope uh, the team is uh, alert for uh, those situations and uh, yeah, I would uh, like to see that uh, our team will uh, dominate the game, will control the game because we see uh, in this Africa Cup, the big teams has, has it very difficult to control the game, to be dominant. Um, and yeah, that makes them uh, struggle uh, a lot uh, in those games. Let's hope uh, our national team uh, won't have that uh, today and that we... Uh, easily can uh, create uh, chances to score um, because yeah how longer it takes um, how difficult uh, difficult it will be and especially for the players who play it also in, at the Africa Cup of 2019 because yeah uh, that was a big debate call and uh, yeah, it can come to their mind back uh, if uh, we will also struggle in this game um, so yeah, let's hope uh, our forwards will, uh, especially will uh, be alert because we saw them against uh, Comor uh, waste a lot of chances um, but yeah, like I said in that uh, video uh, I'd rather have a team that create a lot of chances and waste uh, a lot than uh, we have it difficult to create so uh, that's what I'm happy with uh, that's what gives me uh, a lot of trust for today that we have a team that create, can create a lot of chances and uh, yeah, let's hope uh, this time they will uh, do in the business very well. The lineup that I would like to see for today uh, is of course with Yassin Buno on goal. Same defense as always, Hakimi, Seis, Egert and uh, Masina. On the midfield I hope to see Sufyan Amrabat, Luza and also Salim Amelah. I think uh, he had uh, so far a great uh, tournament. And uh, yeah, he's showing himself very good, uh, especially uh, Salim Amalah. The other two, uh, Imran Luza and Sufyan Am Amrabat, we could expect from them that they uh, would play this Africa Cup. Uh, Salim Amalah was a question because he has some uh, um, competitive uh, players on his place with Ilya Shair, with uh, Ayman Barkok. But uh, so far he's doing very well and uh, yeah, uh, it's important for us. Uh, in attack, I personally would like to see Sufyan Bufal, as always, on a free roll. And then uh, up front, Yusuf Anasiri and also Tarek Tisudeli. Why Tarek Tisudeli? I think in this game against the opponent who probably will be played defensively, will stay compact. Uh, we need uh, a player like Tarek Tisudeli, somebody who don't need a lot of space in the box to create a danger, to create a chance or to to um, can uh, to also can uh, move in a smart way uh, behind the Yusuf Nasiri. Tarek Tisudeli at former clubs, especially in Belgium, played uh, in a two striker system, so he has uh, experience in that. And I think that would be great. Uh, at one hand, you have Sufian Bouffal in on a free roll, especially from the left wing. Then you have a target. Uh, Target man, he's not a fully target uh, man, Yusuf Nasiri, but he can play in that role. And then uh, have a, yeah, a very good weapon with Tarek Tisudali uh, um, behind him. So uh, yeah, I think uh, I would like to see this attack. Uh, a lot, uh, a mix of the creativity of Sufyan Bufal, um, the quality of Tarek Tisudali to play uh, in small spaces and uh, to easily turn and uh, have skills to uh, yeah, get off an opponent uh, despite uh, the small spaces and to have a classical striker like uh, Yusuf Nasiri uh, also it would be good to see Ryan May we know what he uh, can especially in the last games of him with the national team but uh, in this game I personally would like to see uh, Sufyan Bufal, Yusuf Nasiri 
and uh, Tarek Tisudeli. I think also with Tarek Tisudeli playing a little bit from the right wing and uh, playing close to Yusuf Nasiri gives a lot of uh, opportunity and space for Ashraf Hakimi to come up and to uh, yeah, get him in his strengths uh, uh, attacking wise. So uh, that's how I personally would like to see it. Give me in the comments how you would like to see uh, the national team play. And yeah, like I said, uh, of course, uh, a lot of confidence, uh, enthusiastic uh, about the game, but uh, still alert um, because of uh, yeah the last tournament, how it went. So let's finish this uh, topic and go to the other one. Uh, yeah, I think the big news of uh, Sufyan Amrabat uh, going probably to Tottenham Hotspur. I think it would be a great transfer for him. Um, I think he would be a very good uh, combination with uh, Hoiberg. And uh, yeah, I think conditionally we know he's a beast. Defensively a very good uh, midfielder. You can trust him, avoid a lot of counter-attacks of the opponent, uh, read the game defensively very good. And uh, yeah, I think for him where he can still develop in and uh, yeah, also need that at a big club like Tottenham is um, to improve attackingly. So um, yeah, you see a lot of times when he has the ball, he played the safe passes uh, to the right side, to the left side and don't play it uh, very directly. And yeah, that of course is, uh, is gonna make your team struggle because uh, the positioning uh, goes slower. And uh, yeah, sometimes you see up front the uh, up front player uh, has some space. And yeah, then you see he don't dare to give that pass. Um, so I think he needs to develop in that to uh, take a bit more risks, playing more directly uh, to the forward players. And uh, yeah, then he would be a uh, yeah, then I'm for sure think that uh, he will succeed at Tottenham. Defensively, conditionally, uh, I think uh, he can play in the Premier League. And uh, in positioning-wise, I think he has still uh, some steps to make. But uh, reachable, very reachable for him because of his background. Uh, played in the Dutch League, played at FC Utrecht under Erik ten Hag. Uh, especially under him, uh, he uh, developed fantastically. And there he showed that quality. He showed this quality of a cross pass, uh, a direct pass between the lines to the upfront players, to the attacking midfielders. And uh, yeah, he was in his um, last season with FC Utrecht with Erik ten Hag. He was just a sensation in the Dutch league. And that's why he got the transfer to Feyenoord, which didn't work out for him. But um, yeah, he um, came back uh, in Italy and there, uh, yeah, his old level... Uh, uh, came back and uh, yeah, he improved and yeah, especially defensively improved. Uh, but I think maybe that also made him uh, yeah, positioning wise uh, a bit uh, lower. But uh, yeah, like I said, because he showed it in the history, yeah, in a, on a on a lower level of course. But uh, that shows that he has the capacity, and uh, I think under uh, Antonio Conte, he can uh, yeah, he can develop that very quick. And uh, yeah, be a complete uh, holding midfielder. Um, because now if you want to play Sufyan Amrabat on the midfield and don't lose a lot in positioning and on uh, getting your uh, attacking players in good uh, situations, you need one or two midfielders with him who has the quality to play very fast uh, the ball uh, uh, to the attackers. Uh, we had an ideal uh, combination of uh, ideal <laughs> combination of uh, Adil Ta'rabt and Sufyan Amrabat. Um, yeah, we, you saw that uh, when he played with somebody like uh, Ayman Barkok, we had some struggles in creating danger, in playing um, fast possessioning, and uh, also um, getting the play uh, more quick. So. Uh, yeah, of course, Hoiberg has the qualities uh, to play in possession and to play it forward. Uh, but not that much that uh, Sufyan Amrabat can go away with. So, uh, yeah, let's hope he can improve in that. And, uh, yeah, like I said, he has the qualities, he has the capacity to do that. And, uh, yeah, with Antonio Conte, I think he would be a good fit. He knows him for sure because 
at the time that he had his uh, amazing season with Hellas Verona and also his first uh, uh, amazing season with Fiorentina. Antonio Conte uh, worked at, uh, worked uh, at Inter and worked in the league, so uh, of course he know him, and I think that also can help uh, Sufyan Amrabat to uh, adapt to the team, to the competition. And uh, yeah, I personally, like I said, I think it would be a great transfer for him, and uh, yeah, could be a very good signing for the Spurs. Give me also in the comments what you think think about the transfer, and uh, yeah, let's. Uh, See how uh, the game of today will go on, and uh, yeah, inshallah, I'll see you in the next video. Probably after uh, after the game again, uh, I'm gonna upload the, upload the video. So uh, stay updated, and then uh, see you the next time, inshallah. Salam alaikum.